Hey guys, this is UIO2, and I got something to unbox today. So, what I got is something you'll see in a second, but it I'm going to tell you it's a, it's a, it's a IP phone. I'll say that. But anyway, there it is. The Cisco Desk Phone 9800 series. This is a 9851. Um, these just came out months ago. Months. I think it was months ago. Um, uh, these phones are actually really nice. Um, and a modern look, too. I really love them. Um, but the main thing I want to try to test is since I was looking at these phones on their Cisco website, or I think the WebEx website, I think, it says it works with asterisk. And what I have is actually a free PBX, uh, free PBX 17, which is based on asterisk. So, yeah, so we're going to unbox this. Brand new in box. So I think this is also, yeah, brand new in box. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and unbox it. Uh, this is actually to uh, to probably intentionally discontinue, or I think they might be still continuing the 800 series, which is over here. Um, but yeah, but this is it right here, the 9800 series. Let's take a look at it. All right. So. Here she is. And right here we got a little agreement, uh, Cisco agreement. So yeah, that's their logo. And here it is. Look at that. That is really nice. And it's got phone OS. So, ho so hopefully it'll work with any other platforms. Like I know, I know it works with CUCM. I have been told that it works. With, it works with CUCM. And it works with third-party call control. Because, you know, it's, again, it's phone OS, so it works pretty much uh, with a, a common platform, especially third-party Broadworks. But since I have a free PBX asterisk system, it should work. Because it says it's certified, but I was, I was looking at the website with these uh, phones. Um, the 9871 being the, the flagship one, having the touchscreen. Um, <laughs> but here it is. Here's, here's the 9851. So that closed the box. There it is. Looks really nice, so we'll go ahead and unbox it. There's the phone itself. Really nice. There is the Cisco Desk Phone 9800 installation guide. The handset. And you notice that the, this, the handset is actually the same as the 9800 series. Except it doesn't have the, I'm sorry, the 8800 series and, and the 79. It, the, the handset is pretty much the same as the 7800 series, 6800 series, and 8800 series. That's off. There you can see. So you can do that with this. Um, so you can kind of see their own, their exact same handset, but you can kind of see the um, this the 8800 series and the 7800 series as the um, take that off. Has the uh, the light for the voicemail light because the voicemail lights on the handset itself. Kind of see it there, but so it's like a little window. But yeah, but this is the the nine hundred handset doesn't have that. So I'm thinking the voicemail lights probably gonna be on the thing itself, right here, the little smile and the light up here. And there's also an also an action button too. It's actually for like for emergency services or you know, call and security for an extension. Ethernet cable, and set cord, and I really like how they actually uh, keep the box to a minimum for eco reasons. And here is the dex mount to put play in the back. So here's the handset. Like I said, it's the same as the um, is the exact same thing. As the, uh, as the, uh, you can kind of see, exact same thing. Kind of see, exact same thing, but doesn't have the, the little light, the, the, the light beam for the voicemail light. So, yeah. Here's our stand. 
There's the stand. And here's the plug itself. We're gonna unbox it. It's got a tamper seal on it. Look at that. That is so beautiful. That is really nice. Nice modern look too. Now I I have to think that the hook switch will be here, but I think it's probably a magnetic reed switch for the hook switch. Because you know, the 800 series, the 700 series have a hook switch, but it's a physical switch. Um, this one doesn't have that. I think it might be just be a reed switch or something. Interesting. So there's that. Let's get a little closer look at it right here. Um, you can kind of see it. So we'll put the thing on the back here. Shot right here. Put it at the back here. Maybe it goes the other side. Don't know. There we go. And there she is. Look how nice that is. That is really nice. I like how they thought out the, the details on it. It's really nice. I'll get a handset cord. Really, really good detail. So here's the handset cord, we're going to plug it in. And this does take PoE, so no need for an external power supply because the power supply is separate. You got to buy it separately. So I'll plug it into here. Okay, I'm off shot again, but here you plug it into there. Plug it in here. Oh, okay, it's in the wrong way. Hold on. I'm just so excited right now. I got this right now. I was waiting for one of these. To come up on eBay, but there is the uh, thing for it right here. Plug in there and route the uh, handset cord to there, and like that. Look how nice that is! That is so nice. And it's got a color display, so can't wait to uh, power this on. So this takes PoE, so I'm gonna have to get a PoE injector. So this takes PoE. We're gonna use a PoE injector because my PoE switch is full. So, plug that in. We'll get our cord that comes with it. And watch it boot up. Watch it power on. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug into PoE power. So, simply just plug into the PoE port, which is actually. Um, Right here, right next to USB-C. So we're gonna plug it in and watch it boot up. So there is booting it up. It's really nice too. Actually, we'll take a look at it. Zoom in a little bit here. There you go. Watch it boot up. Saying, you know, it says welcome, so we'll go ahead and put in our network cable so we can learn it if so we can learn into our network. So, an IP address. All right, it says welcome. We'll press start. Just have to get an Ethernet. There's the IP address or local IP address. This is a local IP address on my local network. They find it should find it should find the asterisk server. Oh, I have to okay, so the plan configuration. So it looks like it actually found it looks like it's actually finding its server. Hmm.
Okay. It's still building up, I guess. Oh. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to configure it. I'm going to have to configure it. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the uh, how I set it up and all that. Um, I guess I'll show you how to set it up, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so now we're in our web browser. You can see we got our extensions here. So you can see, so I have made an extension for it, which is 208. And I'm going to go ahead and go to our phone, which is or the IP address. I just checked it, so it should be it. Okay. There it is. So it looks like it's already on 3PCC mode. This is Okay, so this is definitely the same web interface for the ADA <laughs> 50, ADA 61, because I remember this. But yeah, it looks like it's actually set for third party call control. Interesting. All right, well, that's pretty good. So here it is. You can see the uh, pretty much the usual. You got the host name, pretty much the information. Um, we'll go admin login. Of course, the password's not set. I'll have to set the password while I'm done with this video, but you can see it's the same thing. We're going to advance. We're going to set our extension number. So, so six extension lines. You can see that. All right, we're going to go into voice. We're going to go ahead and go into uh, um, extension number. We're going to enter our IP address to PBX. Uh, and then we want to set our extension number here. Hold on a second. Um, so, let's see, shoot here, I'll display name. I'm going to put um, our user ID, which is 208. Next extension number. And I'm going to put our password, which is going to be this thing right here. Uh, let's see, we need to copy this password, which I will actually blur that out. So we should be able to have that in. And to configure speed dials, um, you just go into. I guess you go on the phone. I guess it's just basically provisioning. I don't remember this, but uh, this is usually how I did it with the 8861 that's in my room. <laughs> but yeah, so here we go. I'm going to smell all changes. Hopefully that'll work. Okay. Let me go check for a second, make sure it's actually uh, registering. Okay, so now we can see we have a smart radio. Okay, Peter got it. Hey, it looks like it's already configured for Asterix. So cool. So we'll go ahead and dial an extension number, put our room. We'll answer. You can see, there it is. We're connected to it. And you kind of see it has the uh, thing. We'll put a speakerphone. Need that for a second. So this is the 8800 into 9900. You, you kind of see, see it's got, got great, great sound quality, quality too. too. It's pretty, pretty nice. nice. You can see you have the, the, the ring light, which means we're connected to it. it. So, so yeah. So, so let's, let's actually put on hold. Hopefully, 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 hopefully it plays. Play non copyright no, music that I have. have. Hopefully it does. If not, I'll have to like redo it again. But yeah, yeah. so how it how, how looks like I'm kind of playing the whole music. music. So this is how it looks like when it's playing whole music. It's got a really nice sound quality. And then of course we can just hold and we can get back, back to it. it. So yeah. So, yeah.
pretty nice. So you can see it works perfectly on asterisk, and it's got this little red button here. Uh, maybe I'll program this to call in my main office, which is the um, the two phones in the main office, the Polycom phone and the uh, Cisco phone. But yeah, overall, really nice phone. Works perfectly on asterisk. Like I said, it works perfectly. Actually, I can just page it. This is paging, and, and it sounds, sounds wow, it's, it's really loud, loud too. too. But yeah. yeah. You see the, the uh, speaker behind the traffic light. light. Pretty nice. So there it is, guys. So there is the Cisco Desk Phone 9851 working perfectly on Asterisk or Free PBX. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.